Oh, hi there. Barry B. Benson. There he be. The breakout star of the big budget blockbuster B Movie, beloved by all. But does Barry B. belong in jail? What if I told you that perhaps the most absurd movie idea ever conceived was stolen? A ripoff, a, a dirty knockoff. <laughs> Too far fetched, right? We all know that Jerry Seinfeld came up with the idea himself. It's just a pun on the phrase B-movie. He pitched it to Steven Spielberg, who got Jerry in touch with his company, DreamWorks. And they DreamWorked backwards from the name. But now that I say it out loud, it all sounds too convenient. Jerry Seinfeld's first project after Seinfeld? A $150 million movie based on a pun? And somehow Steven Spielberg was involved? Something doesn't add up here. Someone had to get to the bottom of it. Someone needed to be the hero. And that someone is Mod Wallet 6. On June 27, 2023, Mod Wallet 6 made a post on the Lost Media Wiki forums. Apparently, Jerry Seinfeld came up with the idea for Bee Movie by pondering the possible perspectives that bees have when his wife was interested in beekeeping. This information about to be explained might, emphasis on might, change the historical record. Bee Movie was not the first Bee Movie. A ton of this information already exists when I was searching, but I'm pretty sure I'm the first person to heavily acknowledge it. A little over two weeks ago, I was reading the Wikipedia article about B-Movie. Yes, I know the nature of Wikipedian misinformation. And apparently there was a lawsuit about a Swedish movie, also about bees, named Bibelon, accusing Spielberg of theft. I was intrigued about this and researched Bibelon. There was barely a thing on the World Wide Web about it except two videos published 16 years ago and somebody's job portfolio about the film. The two trailers Maude is referring to were posted in May of 2007, within three days of each other on two separate YouTube channels, one by the channel Ishtar237 and the other by Beesman10. And based on their video descriptions, both posters seem to be just as confused as the rest of us. Ishtar237's description said, Strangely similar to Seinfeld's new animated B-movie, a lot of rumors about this, and posted a link that's now dead and was never archived, so we may never know the secrets it held. In Beesman 10's video, the description reads, Interesting Swedish animation project. The idea to make an animated film about bees and their contacts with human beings was born in Sweden by two screenwriters. The film was called Bibelon, and this is a short trailer. Exactly this clip was presented to DreamWorks in 2002, rumors tell. Beesman 10's video is better quality, so I'll play that for you now, but we'll talk about a few details in Ishtar's video soon. Imagine, if you will, a place where bees run the town hall, sweep the streets, and broadcast television. Why, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard! There is such a place. And not as far from us as you may think. In this hive, there grows an idea about exploring a strange and new world, namely ours. So you can see some similarities and some big differences. Obviously the voice acting and animation is crude, to say the least. But it's amateur and it's unfinished, so I can't knock it too hard. And story-wise, where B-Movie is about a bee suing humanity, Bibelon is about bees documenting humanity. Ishtar247's video is basically identical, but with a different title card, a short render of a bee at the end, and a credits list. With this, we should be able to contact more animators and put this whole thing to rest. But Ishtar's video was recorded by pointing a camera at a TV monitor, and the picture is so low quality that it is impossible to make out any of the names. Looking further into Mod Wallet 6's post leads us to the website of Swedish musician Per Umeris, where on the home page is an icon for Bibelon, and clicking this icon leads us to a page that sheds some light on the mystery. The project was created by Per Umeris alongside Henrik Wahlgren, who are credited with coming up with the idea, and Christian Bernqvist served as the 3D animation director. And just below this is the film's synopsis. When you put it through Google Translate, it reads, The young, curious bee, Bix Melifaria, lives in Bibelon, a giant beehive located under the roof tiles of the Josefsson family's house. Bees are small, intelligent creatures with a sense of touch. I'm assuming that one's a mistranslation on Google's part. But otherwise, they're not so different from us humans. When they leave the hive, they always have to first put on a yellow and black striped flight suit to look like what we think they do. 
Bix is a media bee and works in the TV tower in the city sector Apodia. It is she who, during a crisis meeting at the editorial office, hatches the idea for One with Man, a nature program about the world's strangest animal, man. The TV show becomes a huge success and changes life in Bibelon forever. The bees are starting to imitate the behaviors of humans. Queen Adabar rules Bibelon, a strict but fair regent. She follows the filmed features about the Yosefson family with interest. In her court, however, she has the evil alderman bee, Cyrus, who does everything to stop Bix Malifaria's fantastic program. Join us on a breathtaking adventure about humans, seen from the bee's perspective. The website has some more information about Bibelon, but it's honestly pretty confusing and leaves me with more questions than answers. Like one section is called Bibelon, a survival pub show for Gutenberg citizens that apparently was a live event in 2008, but provides no details. And in a completely different section of the website, there's a 2008 photo of people in bee costumes that I assume is from this same event, but there's no description on the photo. And I have no idea what an event called Bibelon, a survival pub show would even entail or what this graphic has to do with any of it. So back to the 2007 trailers. In the comments of Ishtar237's video was a 9 year old comment from user Bjorn Ringholm who gave us some more info on the movie. His comment said, lol, what people dream up. Some facts, long before Seinfeld, who supposedly came up with the idea behind the B-movie, teamed up with DreamWorks. The idea for Bibelon was originally created by a Swedish producer who, with limited knowledge of 3D animation at the time, were thinking about people in costumes, think Teletubbies. I think what Bjorn meant here is that Bibelon was originally envisioned as a live action TV show with actors in costumes, similar to Teletubbies, which could explain the picture from Per Umer's website. This producer then approached a friend and director who had been working with 3D during the 90s. It was this director that proposed it should be done in 3D. The pilot was created by students from Graphic Studio in Naka, Sweden. At this point, the idea was to make a series for television where bees study the strange behaviors of humans, turning the Swedish TV series At Med Naturen the other way around. Then DreamWorks Europe saw the pilot. The producers and director went to show it to the directors at DreamWorks HQ, but at arrival, they were not allowed to meet with anyone higher than middle management. The project finally died when the involved could not agree on the financials. ModWallet6 came across this comment, and despite it being 9 years old, Bjorn responded right away, explaining that he was part of the team that created the teaser and provided definitive proof by uploading an additional trailer on June 27th, 2023. It was largely the same as the other two trailers, but with one new clip we previously didn't have. So far, no one besides Bjorn has responded to our inquiries, but through various publications on the project, I think I have a clear picture of the timeline. In the late 90s and early 2000s, Per Umeris and Henrik Wahlgren were enrolled in animation school in Nanik, Sweden, when they began development on Bibelon as a student project. It quickly grew from there. Christian Bergquist joined as 3D animation director at some point, and Bjorn Ringholm helped animate the trailer. Sometime between 2000 and 2002, depending on some conflicting sources, the Bibelon team showed their work to DreamWorks Europe, who thought it had potential, helping them secure a meeting at DreamWorks headquarters in California, where they met the company's chief operating officer, Anne Daly. Soon after the meeting, they were notified that DreamWorks passed on Bibelon, calling it too childish. And not too long after that, in 2003, Jerry Seinfeld's B-Movie was announced. The Bibelon team contacted DreamWorks about the similarities between their idea and the upcoming B-movie, to which DreamWorks assured them that they are not similar. But the Swedes were not convinced. When B-movie's trailer dropped, they were positive DreamWorks had stolen their idea. Henrik Wahlgren is quoted saying, From what we have seen so far, it seems like a total ripoff. It's exactly like our pilot. It feels like a dark Cinderella story. We are a bit naive. Christian responded, They probably expect to run over the eight Swedes who own the rights, and only in the worst case, give them a small penny. Now, if you were around before B-Movie was released, you know the movie was promoted for years before it debuted, including live-action trailers, skits, and press tours as early as 2005. During one of these tours, Jerry Seinfeld stopped by Sweden, where reporters confronted him about the plagiarism accusations. One Swedish journalist wrote, The question barely had time to be asked before Jerry Seinfeld starts laughing. Would this B-movie be a pirated copy of a Swedish film idea? Jerry Seinfeld apparently thinks the whole thing is ridiculous. There's also a novel called The Secret Life of Bees, he points out, and believes that if everyone who had ever thought of doing something about bees sued each other, there would be a lot of running around in the courts. He dismissed the similarities in design. 
The stripes, yes, they're very similar. I don't understand how that could happen, he says, and chuckles happily before he quickly says thank you and wanders off to the next interview. But he would soon be confronted by another journalist asking the same questions. I try not to laugh and take it as seriously as I can, but it's difficult. It's entirely possible that someone else came up with the idea to make a movie about bees. I didn't know anything about it till this morning and hope they're not too upset. They should try to make their own movie. <laughs> they should try to make their own movie. So that's a that's a bit of an evil response. Upon Bee Movie's release in 2007, the team found many striking similarities between their pilot Bee Balon and Bee Movie. When contacting American lawyers about the issue, they told them that they had slim chances of successfully suing. After its release, Per Umeris said, Now Steven Spielberg, the founder of DreamWorks, and Jerry Seinfeld have presented their film Bee Movie, which is largely similar to Bee Balon. Much in the two films is similar. We really don't know how to act. They are so terribly big. And just so we're clear, this is not a case of a few students who whipped together a quick trailer to meet class requirements, or just a loose collection of ideas. They had spent years on this movie. They had written a script, secured financing, had lined up investors in Italy and Denmark, and were working in the early days of 3D animation, using which they were able to produce a trailer, all before meeting with DreamWorks. So when it comes down to it, is B-Movie a ripoff of Bibelon? I think that is a difficult question, because I do believe Jerry Seinfeld's story, that he had the idea for a movie about bees called Bee Movie, based on a pun. And there are some distinct differences between the two movies. It looks like Bee Balon uses a 3D animation and live action hybrid, where Bee Movie is entirely animated. There are some plot differences, and with the involvement of Jerry Seinfeld, Bee Movie's humor is unique. But if you're skeptical right now, I have a few questions. How many movies are about bees? And how many of those are animated? And how many of those are feature-length films? And now, how many animated feature films are about bees discovering the human world? So here are my thoughts on the situation. I don't believe Jerry Seinfeld had any knowledge of Bibelon. Having an entire movie based on a pun is classic Seinfeld, and the entire Bee movie is just dripping with his signature brand of humor. But on the other hand, we know DreamWorks was aware of Bibelon. Their European branch liked it so much they got a meeting at headquarters. There was a serious possibility of Bibelon getting the DreamWorks treatment. And going through Bibelon and B-Movie, there's no real smoking gun, no scene, animation detail, piece of dialogue, or even concept art that definitively proves foul play on DreamWorks' end. But what I can say for certain is that the company, its executives, and lawyers did not do their due diligence to ensure that B-Movie was not too similar to other films pitched to them. You see, movie studios don't just let anyone hand them a script or pitch them a movie, because any pitch, script, or idea that comes their way is a potential lawsuit if they make anything similar. In the case of Bibelon, where the trailer and script had been passed through hands at both DreamWorks Europe and DreamWorks HQ just a year or so before the announcement of B-Movie, I think there is a decent claim to be made that B-Movie was potentially inspired by Bibelon. And if you think DreamWorks will be above this, like, this isn't their first plagiarism accusation. This isn't even their first plagiarism accusation involving a bug-themed movie. <laughs> I know what y'all are thinking. Yeah, Bee Movie probably would have been the better movie about bees, especially with the endless stream of memes it produced. But that is besides the point. There is a film project out there with years of time and development put into it. There's animation, at least some voice acting, and a script, all of which were pushed aside for a bigger star by a bigger production team. This search has just begun and I'm really excited to see what else comes out of it. Hopefully enough information comes out that I can make an update to this video. So I'd love to hear what you think. Is B-Movie a ripoff? Is this just like a, a Dennis the Menace case where two people had a very similar idea in different parts of the world? Or do you think Bibelon and B-Movie have very little to no similarities to them? And before I go, I know someone in the comments is gonna say that Barry B. Benson didn't discover the human world. The bees already knew it existed. So yeah, I guess, but they were so unfamiliar with it they didn't even realize that humans have been taking their honey for hundreds of years. So I think discovered is the right word. Shout out to my Patreon supporters, Miss Dana, MD the Dude, Can You Say Rogue Goat Mafleur, and Odesta Honeycrisp. Thank you so much. This is Mike with All Things Lost. See you soon.